Dude. Well, I got to explain what I'm doing so people know what to do. Okay. <clears throat> this next move I'm going to show you is uh, something that actually I came up with. It is a, uh, it's a very unique pass. It's a, it's a very uh, great way. It's actually a really great way to get the controlled card for the top of the deck. So let's say uh, the card that someone selected was the Queen of Hearts. Okay. You just have uh, the Queen. And I'll show you guys again. You have the Queen of Hearts selected, put back in the deck. Just kind of square the cards up together here. I screw that one up. Start over. Okay. What I'm going to show you now is a uh, it's a pass. If you guys don't know what a pass is, I'm going to teach you what one is, and I'll teach you uh, my pass. It's actually the only pass I use, and I'd say it's 95 percent, 99.5 percent of the time effective. It's a great way to get a controlled card to the top of the deck. Let's say that uh, that's the selected card, the Jack of Clubs. Square the cards up. Jeez. Yeah, this isn't, I can't do it like working like this. Let me get back here a little bit. Can you shoot me right here? Can you get a good look at the card? Yeah. Okay. Throw over. There we go. Hang on a minute. I got to practice. Ready? We on? What I'm going to show you now is a pass. If you do not know what a pass is, this is actually a really good pass to learn for a first time uh, pass. It is actually uh, also the only pass that I use. When you have a card selected, return to the deck, you want to be able to control it to the top. Here's the way I do it. I have them select the card, they put it back in the deck, just kind of score the deck up, and immediately it's right back on top of the deck. Do the move again. Did you catch it? Do it again. Same card. Okay, watch again. We're going to take the card, selected card, the nine of clubs. Start again. Okay. Go ahead. Let's say the card selected was the nine of clubs. You have them return it to the deck, kind of score the cards up, and then it jumps right back to the top of the deck. I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. And once the card's back on the top, you can palm it off. You could uh, pretty much do whatever you want. You can turn it into a double lift. And of course, there it is. Basically, all you're doing is having the card selected. In this case, we're going to use the nine of clubs. Return to the top of the deck. You just kind of dribble the rest of the cards on top. And you do a reverse, what I like to call a reverse pass. And again, slow motion. The card is selected. Which someone selects a card in this case, it's the nine of clubs. It's returned to the deck. You dribble the cards on top. And as you score the cards up, it jumps right back to the top. I'm just trying to do this move until it looks really good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Basically, what you're doing <clears throat> is once the card's selected, in this case, the nine of clubs, you have it returned to the deck. The rest of the deck, it looks like you just kind of dribble the cards on top of it. But what you have is a little, a little uh, handle. Oop, missed that one. I missed it. Try again. Okay. Basically, after the card's selected, in this case the nine of clubs, you have them return it to the deck. Just put it right there in the middle. Now, as you're dribbling the rest of the pack on top, you out jog the first few cards down towards the back. See how I kind of out jogged them? The card right there is the nine of clubs. It's out jogged. Now, as you're squaring the cards up, you lift here, drop that down, and come up and over. And there you go. Here's the nine. Again, in slow motion, the card is selected. Return to the deck. You just kind of dribble the rest of the cards on. It looks like you're just dribbling the cards on top. Again, you left yourself a little handle right there. As you're squaring them up, it comes up and over. One more time, the card is selected. Return to the deck. You, of course, have no idea what, what the card is. Kind of square the cards up, and it jumps right to the top. Now, in regular motion, watch again, see if you can catch it. The card is selected. Return to the deck. And... Boom, there it is. You also want to provide cover with your left hand. 
So as you're squaring the cards up here, as you're squaring them up, try to use that hand as cover. So when you come around, it looks like you're just squaring the cards up. Do it without cover now. And there you go. That's what the card should that's what it should look like. Without cover and here's what it should actually look like when you're doing the move. Your card is selected, replaced, just like that. Okay, I'm do it. Let me do it one more time. Okay, now you guys know what to look for. I'm going to do it in real motion. We're going to have a uh, that is the chosen card. First, again, let me show you that these are normal bicycle cards. In case you think I'm using a some sort of trick deck, you have the card selected. It's returned to the deck. The rest of the cards are dribbled up on it. Kind of score the cards up, and then it jumps right back to the top. This is actually, uh, like I said, it's great if you want to have control of the chosen card at all times. Nine of clubs. And right back on top. All right. What do you mean without the cover? Well, do, do without my hand? Slow motion. Just do it slow motion. Okay, wait. Hit the nine. Okay. Do, do, do it. Try to show it nice and slow now. Okay, let's raise your hand a little higher, do a little higher now. I want it to be underneath you like I'm on. Come a little higher, come higher, higher. That's it. Now do it. Hang on a minute. It's kind of neat. It's kind of, okay. it's kind of awkward. Okay, try again. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's the nine. Uh, you went too high. Just, just stay right there. Right there? Okay, try it again. Get your hand out of it. It's kind of hard because it's like a natural cover. Good. Do one face up, leave it face up. Okay? Just keep doing that. Doing it. What I'm going to show you now is something called. Uh, we're stopping. Start flipping it. What I'm going to show you now is something called a double lift, but this is not your normal double lift. This is a double lift that I kind of came up with while screwing around with a deck of cards. This looks completely impossible, and to the spectator, it can never uh, appear to be a double. Basically, what you're doing is you're taking a card. That was kind of awful. And basically, what you're doing is you're taking a card, flipping it up in the air, and of course, it's a double. The mechanics for this uh, do take a little bit of practice. And um, be prepared to kind of chase cards for a couple days, but I promise you, you can do this. All you're doing is you're kind of riffling down. You hold the deck in the left hand. Again, I'm uh, left-handed with a deck of cards, so it's kind of this move is, is uh, either way, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Hold the deck in your left hand and kind of dribble down until you're left with a double. I find that's the easiest way. You want to give the card a little bend. Hold it from side to side and pop it up in the air. Now I'm using uh, three cards right now. You might want to start with three just to get the feel for it. And uh, it has a little more weight to it. When you use two cards, again I'll show you, you hold the deck like this, riffle down to a double. Once you have that double, give it a little bend, pop it up in the air, and there you go. It's kind of like that. With a little bit of practice. You should be able to get the card uh, to land face up or face down, just with a little bit of practice. Now, all right, Dad, these cards suck. 
Excuse me. These cards are killing. There you go. Two, two three times like that. I can't wait. That looks horrible. I mean, it looks. There you go. That was a good one. These cards suck. We on? Yeah. Oh, okay. What I'm going to show you now is a move that is a kind of a fancy double lift. Basically, what you're doing is you're uh, taking two cards. <laughs> Man, I gotta work these in here. Okay. Here we go. Just gotta work the cards together. There we go. Ready? What I'm going to teach you now is something that I kind of came up with myself. It's a very fancy double lift. And uh, when done correctly, it appears that a, a card jumps up off the top of the deck, does about five or six somersaults, and lands squarely back on top of the deck. This does take a little bit of practice, and uh, even I don't do it 100% of the time, every time. But I can uh, nail it, I'd say, nine times out of ten, maybe uh, 19 times out of 20. Basically, what you're doing is you're taking a card, a double lift, you kind of give it a little bend. That'll give it a little more spring. And you just kind of pop it up in the air, and it holds its double the whole way through. Okay, let me show you again. Kind of give the cards a little bend. You hold it like that, and that one didn't work. It's okay. Go on. Hold it like that. Cards are too new. There we go. Okay, basically what you do is you take your double, you hold it in this position. You want your First finger underneath the card, kind of holding it there. The middle finger on one end, and then your thumb is just like that. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to let go with that finger, and it's going to want to flip up in the air, but kind of by itself. Uh, kind of give it a little bend again. This will kind of give it a little more spring to jump up. Again, here's the hold on it. Index finger underneath the card, middle finger on the side, thumb on the other side. And you want it tucked nice and good right in there. You don't want it like that because you're not going to be able to get too much of a spring on it. Tuck the card all the way in there, right about there in your thumb, and just let it go. Now, with a little bit of practice, you should be able to get it to go fairly high every time. Now, uh, a little more practice, you should be able to get it to land face down or face up at will. Now, uh, this isn't 100% every time, nothing in magic is, but when you pull it off, it looks great. Here's another move you can do, pan back. You can also take that double and... Start it. Here's, another, here's another move you can do. Oops, good thing we didn't shoot. Just start right there. Here's another move you can do. Let me look at the camera. Hang on a minute, i got to get there. 